Hello, I'm Michael Curry, and I work with OpenWorm's movement analysis team. In this talk, I'll tell you why validating movement is important, and I'll tell you about the open source technologies we've developed to do just that. This team was constituted in summer 2013. Since then, we've had many people volunteer their time and expertise, and here are the colleagues whose work I'm presenting today. Now, OpenWorm's vision is to build a computational model of C. elegans, but how do we know our model is accurate? This is our team's task to validate the simulated worm's behavior against videos of real worms. So to do this, we needed to build two tools, a module to compare worms, uh, which is OAT, and a file format that works with both OpenWorm and outside lab data, which is WCON. We also built a database to make those videos more accessible. So our first tool is WCON. To explain why it's needed, imagine a researcher trying to analyze a worm strain he's created. So he looks around for a tool to use off the shelf, but each piece of hardware is only compatible with one piece of software. So which tool should he use? It's very confusing. So faced with this confusion, our researcher may end up building his own software, failing to leverage existing work. So to deal with this very issue, Andre Brown and Rex Kerr in 2015 developed an interoperability file format called Worm Commons Object Notation or WCON. So WCON is a subset of JSON, and it's been designed to be human readable as well as suitable for large scale computer processing. And we've written libraries that read and write WCON in Scala, uh, Python, MATLAB, Julia, R, and Octave. The second tool we built is called OpenWorm Analysis Toolbox. In a few instructions, you can load a WCON file and process it into features, it can be used to process videos of C. elegans into statistics, so the behavior of individual worms can be compared. It's being used at the Brown Lab at ICL to analyze their worm videos. It's also the package used by the OpenWorm project to determine how closely its simulated worm behaves like real worms, like the one you see here. So first, we, we need a researcher, uh, uh, a researcher to collect uh, worm videos, like the one you see here by the Schaefer Lab. Step two is to take the raw videos of that worm behavior and segment them into time series arrays of skeleton and contour positions. And then we take that segmented data and it's processed into features like average speed, number of omega turns, and dozens of other features. So two types of worms can have their features compared statistically. And that's what you see here. Um, and that comparison can be visualized using a pixel grid, pairwise box plots, and other charts. This is all possible within the uh, OAT. The third tool we built is making the Schaefer Lab worm video recording metadata publicly available. And we plan to make it more searchable in the future and add videos from other labs as well. So this presentation has mostly presented the present state of our work, but additional state, uh, sorry, additional work is required uh, before we've met our goal of validating the movement of the simulated worm uh, generated by Geppetto. We also want to accomplish our ancillary goal of promoting the use of open source software and, uh, rep and uh, the repositories um, we developed uh, in other research laboratories. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions, or even better, if you'd like to volunteer to help us out, please feel free to contact anyone on our team.